Okay, now we will see how we can use the publish uh, to web in Power BI report. As the name suggests here, the report will be published to the internet. So anyone having uh, the link of that page, uh, they can see it. So you can uh, you can have this like anonymous access. So anyone can see it. So make sure that if you have any confidential information of you don't want this data to be published uh, publicly, then you should not do this publish to web option. So now what you can do here is uh, you can see here this is our report uh, that we created last time and we publish into the on this web um, as published to the Power BI service. Now here we can do that option. If you have not opened that, uh, you can just click on app dot power bi dot com and uh, you can see here from my workspace you can go to the reports and you can see this is the report that we want this to be published to the web now on this basically you can go to file and then you can see here one option which is saying publish to web click on that now if you will see here now it is saying create embedded code uh, that option it is showing if you do not see this option then you can see probably something like this contact your admin to enable embed code creation so in this case what will happen is um, I have un enabled this option from my power bi admin store that's that's the reason I can see this if you do not see this option then you can go to let's say I'll go to the admin center I wanted to show it from the admin center so you can go to the power bi admin center in this case this is our uh, Microsoft 365 admin center click on show all and you can see here all admin centers and you can see here this is called power bi so if you will click on this then actually you will uh, see the option where we can generate the embed code first of all these are the admin options on this basically if you will see there is an embed code option click on that and you will be able to see if any existing embed code has been done this is for another report i had done so you can see this but if you will go to the tenant settings you can see here there is an option which is saying publish to web you can see here expand this and if you will see here uh, by default it will the first option will be selected allow only allow existing codes um, but the second option is allow existing code and new codes so that you can uh, generate that so that's if you, if that option is not and if the second option is not choose then you will see this error message this message basically it's not an error message and then you can come here and you enable this click on apply so once you click on apply it will check take take, take 10 minute and 10 15 minute and then if, if you'll come to the uh, report you can see this option when you click on file and then publish to web now you click on create embed code so if you see here create embed code it, it is saying that uh, if you are if you want to uh, publish it then anyone on the internet you will be able to access the report and uh, the data it contains Microsoft may so it's basically it is saying that your data will be become public now now click on publish so once you click on publish you can see here we have two options one thing is a link uh, if you want to send to any user you can send that link or you can see here this say iframe code so it is saying that you can uh, you can paste this HTML in your blog or any website somewhere I if you'll see here I have the SharePoint sky site I will just have this report uh, I'll just create a page so basically this is a WordPress site you can see here this is a WordPress site this is the SharePoint sky site dot com uh, SharePoint sky dot com site so it's a uh, it's not a SharePoint site it's a WordPress site now on this if I will actually embed this code then my users can see it anyone in the internet can see it so if I'll click on this plus and then basically this is uh, an option where you can add the embed code so you can see here I just embed this code I'll publish this you can see here I just publish it and uh, once it is published successfully then we can actually see the report in 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 the site itself so let it just publish you can see here it is published successfully now if I'll open the site URL you can see here uh, this is the internet site anyone can access it you do not need any um, uh, any any uh, credentials for that you can see here now I can see the report if I'll click on this I can even interact with the report correctly so you can see here I can filter it over there so 
so this is my SharePoint site or this is a just a uh, WordPress site and we can embed that Power BI report over here and user can see this report as well. So, okay, so before any, I, I will delete this po post now. So this way we can actually uh, use the publish to web option and we can embed our report to, to any website or blog or we can have the anonymous link. You can send it to, you can just email it to anyone and they can just click over that and they can see the report. 